My name is Jessica Perez. I am 21 years old. This is my third semester at ECC. I have a son and I'm a nursing major. I'm almost a 51 year old student and I have seven children, two grandchildren, and I am currently in the RN program at ECC. Um, well, my name is Kenya. Um, I'm a recent ECC graduate. Uh, I started here in 2013. I started off in developmental courses. I was uh, new to the school. My parents were new to this whole environment as well. Um, I'm a first generation student, so to them, all of this was new. And it was kind of frightening for me because I felt like I didn't have enough resources at home to help me out. So I had to reach out for extra help here on my own. And that was kind of scary at times. My name is Sam Cano. I am 21 years old. I'm studying here at ECC, my associates in engineering science. To be honest, I felt like in high school they were easy. I felt like I could take those classes and I got really good grades in them. So it was surprising when I came to ECC to know that I was in a developmental class. I felt like the course I took in high school didn't prepare me enough when I thought they did. So that was shocking. Being in the developmental classes, I didn't like it because right um, upon graduation, my friends were jumping right into college level classes or they already were ahead because they might have been in AP classes and at first I really didn't like it because nobody likes being told they're not where they should be. That first day I walked in, I can honestly say my heart was in my nose. Um, I was terrified. I was probably the oldest person in the classroom and I sat down at a table and just waited to see what would happen, fighting the tears of fear fighting the pride of, oh my gosh, I'm really going to do this, and just waiting for the instructor to walk into the room. I feel once you're in a crowd and you ask for help, you, like, it's like you're not on the same level as they are. Now looking back in retrospect, I did need a solid foundation in algebra, and that's where I think why I placed in 098 happened because I didn't have the solid background that I needed and that's where I probably fell through. So it really helped me in the long run. As an incoming student coming to ECC, I would suggest being prepared for making sacrifices because the workload will definitely be more than what you expected, even if you are in developmental classes. Motivation. I think my son really my family really motivated me to keep on going. Um, my goal is to be a nurse, so if I didn't push through 98, how would I push on through other things? When I was in Math 98, uh, I know I struggled at times, especially towards the end of the semester once it started picking up more um, challenging uh, problems, and I know a lot of um, the students in the classroom were struggling as well, so a couple of us would get together in the library or in the study room and just stay there. If the whole day was needed, we would just stay there and study the whole day. I had a fellow classmate who was the age of my daughter and was from a different culture and background, and we became best of friends, and we worked with each other and would do study groups together and just try to figure out our math problems and how we could be successful for the next exam or the next quiz. When I was in class, it was embarrassing to ask questions, but then I thought to myself, um, well, 98 is here for a reason, or 96 is here for a reason. There's other students like me that need help, and they might not ask questions in class, but how do I know that they don't go to office hours? So I thought, I'm not the only one, and really I should focus on what's good for me. I know being in developmental classes when I first started, I was a little embarrassed to go to the tutoring center because there was this idea that I had in my mind that people would either make fun of you or look down upon you if you were in a lower level math class, but that wasn't the fact at all. It was a really friendly place. The tutors are really nice. They don't care what level you're at. They'll help you equally as well. So I would definitely recommend the tutoring center. After I get my um, RN degree, hopefully this December of 2016, I plan to find work as a registered nurse and then go on and complete my BSN. I've already picked up literature from Nazarene 
uh, school and Purdue. I'm going off to Illinois State to get a degree in nursing and I feel that all the leadership skills, all the um, study skills I've gained from the professors, from students, from the using all the resources, it's really helped me out and I feel that now that um, taking the actual courses there um, via online for right now, um, I feel prepared and I feel confident. This is my last semester here at Elgin Community College. I'll be receiving my associate's degree in engineering science and I plan on transferring in the fall and pursuing a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering. My goal is to get an associate's degree here at ECC, then I'm going to go into the nursing program here at ECC, get the degree for nursing, and after that I want to transfer to a four-year university. I'm thinking of NIU and get my bachelor's and just expand from there. The hardest part is walking in the door. That is the hardest part is walking in the door. And I can recognize those students when I see them. They're, they just have this deer in the headlights look. Yeah, just walk through the door, just take that first step. Thank you.